Alright, so everyone is talking about the Lightrix LTX2 that just went open source. Everyone is doing tutorials about how to use it in ConfUI, but I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna show later a much, much easier way to use it, so stay till the end. But first, what is LTX2? Well, it's a text to video and audio, so it generates the video and the audio, like the VO3 or a lot of other models we have today. There actually is an open source version that does that, but it's not even close to this quality. First, let's see a few examples. Discover LTX2's native audio video sync. It's production ready and fully open for creators. Oh my God, have you seen his expression? Focus, close your eyes and just flap. See, that was fun, right? Why did you do it? Why did you do it to us? Stop acting like a saint, Jess. You did it first. I never did. The DMMs with Marco, the bonfire night. You left me there. You exactly. You started it. Why did you do it? Because it felt like I'd already been replaced. He group text us. Guess he's into community building. That's it. I am moving out and I can't stand the smell anymore. Stop being so dramatic, Jess. It's just a rubbish pile. Whee! So that's it, uh, you got the idea. So how to use it? Well, since everyone is doing ConfiUI workflows, I think I'm gonna do this. This one is called 1-2-GP and it's a very optimized UI that runs pretty much everything actually. They run Flux, they run Stable Diffusion, they run Quen, they run WAN, they run Huniwan and LTX and actually a bunch of other stuff. But what's interesting is that this thing does magic. I can't explain it. It just does magic. It makes it work on a very low VRAM GPUs and it's very fast. I mean, I don't know how they do it, but they do. They just updated to work with LTX2 and I'm gonna show it how to you install it. So first, the easiest way would be using Pinocchio, but I don't recommend you to use Pinocchio. Yes, you can click just a button and it should be good. <laughs> Simple as that. But it messes up your environment and it can break some stuff. You'll realize that much later when it's too late. So let's do the manual installation. You're gonna need a few things first. So a GPU from the series 10 to the series 50 of Nvidia. You can actually do that with AMD, but the instructions are different. You need Git. So if you have Git, good. If you don't, you can just click here and install it. Same thing applies to the other stuff here. Uh, this is for a Windows, but for a Linux, you can go to the site and follow the instructions. You also need Visual Studio if you're using Windows. CUDA Toolkit if you're going to use Sage Attention and Nvidia drivers. And then you're gonna need FFmpeg installed and add it to path and miniconda actually this is not a miniconda installation tutorial but it's pretty simple you just go to anaconda site and follow the instructions to install miniconda now we're going to actually do the installation of the WAN2 GP. So first, you need to git clone the repo. You open your terminal after you install git, this should work, and copy this command, create a folder somewhere you want, and then paste this into your terminal, and then press enter. You need to create a conda environment with this Python version. So copy this, 
paste into your terminal and then press enter and then this again to activate it. Now you need to choose your installation instructions based on what GPU you're using. In my case it's a 30 series. Copy this to install PyTorch and paste into your terminal. You should see something like this. That means it should be installing. Triton. Sage attention. You can try it to install it if you want, but if it doesn't work, don't worry. You won't need this. Install the requirements, so copy this and then paste it and it should be good. Now, optionally, you can also install Flash Attention. That's pretty much it. Now, if the installation of Sage Attention didn't work, you should run the 12GP with this command. So you copy this and then paste into your terminal and run. You should should be granted with this. It's pretty simple, just need to give a prompt, select the resolution and go. <laughs> That's it. You can do also image to video or video to video, but first you need to select the model. So here you're gonna have a lot of options, so you need to select the LTX2 and I'm gonna use the distilled version, so I selected the distilled version here. It should be much faster. That's it, you put the prompt, select the duration and go. Let's try this prompt that came with the installation. That's it, dad's lost it. And we've lost dad. Stop being so dramatic, Jess. He's just having fun. All right, so it worked pretty funny and uh, very good quality. And it generated in just three minutes. It's saying here more, but it's because it downloaded a bunch of models. So if you press run for the first time, it will download a lot of models. And be warned, this should take around 50 gigs. All right, so just so you know it. I'm impressed. For three minutes, a 10 seconds generation with this quality, not bad at all. That's it, a different way to use LTX2 and uh, hope you like it and see ya.